Then welcome to training for the SiteLink Virtual Terminal. When getting set up with your SiteLink Merchant Services account, you will receive emails from PayEasy. Once you receive those emails, you will have a link to follow, sunstone.globalgatewaye4.firstdata.com. Going to this website, you will use your administrative login as well as your administrative password to sign in. Once you sign in, you will be greeted with a home page here. On this home page, it's going to give you your seven, past seven days worth of activity by default. To view those further, you'll access Transactions. After going to the Transactions tab, you'll be greeted with the following screen. On this screen, you will see a list of your transactions from today by default. You can look at up to six months worth of transactions at any given time, so long as it does not go above 10,000 transactions. Using this tab, you would frequently come in here to issue refunds, look up transactions, or verify declines. To find a transaction, you would want to select your date range, then enter a first or last name for the tenant in question, and hit enter or click search. Once you do so, you should have a list updated with your transactions down below. Once you find your transaction, if you wish to enter a refund, you would see an R with a green arrow below Actions. Simply clicking on that button will open a refund menu, which will allow you to either submit a full refund or edit the refund amount to give a partial refund. Next, we will cover what you would find in the Reports tab. The Reports tab will typically show you your previous day's closed batch. It will break down your credit card payments by card type and give them to you in simplified sections as well as a total at the bottom. If it is necessary, you can also process payments from the virtual terminal. You can do so by going to Point of Sale, or POS. Going to this tab, you will be able to select your transaction type, purchases, pre-auths, voids, refunds, or pre-authorization completions. Once you have selected the transaction type, you will simply enter the amount that you wish to charge, the cardholder's name, their card number, and their expiration date. It is also recommended to enter their AVS information, as having correct AVS information for a transaction will result in a lower processing rate. Lastly, as the Merchant Administrator, you will have access to the Administration tab. Going into this tab, you can manage your users and see accounts that are available to you. If you needed to add in new users, you can do so by simply going to Administration and clicking on Create New User on the right-hand side. Doing so will prompt for a first name, last name, and email address. Once that is entered, you will want to go to the Login tab create a username, temporary password, and select their role as well as their permission levels. The roles are as follows. Read only gives them access to viewing transactions. Point of sale will allow them to view transactions, run refunds, voids, and take payments from the virtual terminal, although that is not necessary. Merchant will give them access to all of the above features, as well as the ability to run reports from the virtual terminal website. It is recommended when creating new users to turn off Open Void and Open Refund, as that would allow them to enter the Point of Sale tab and create a refund or create a void to any card number they wanted for any amount. Once you have all of the information entered and their permissions selected, you simply click Create.